Pride themed events are happening all around Indianapolis right now and our Sarah Jones sat down with some ladies who brunch to talk about what pride means to them. A creative outlet, safe outlet, and financially beneficial outlet. <laughs> Babies was once home to Legends Show Bar. A bar where these queens perform together on Talbot Street. And it's the first time they've been reunited since Legends closed down. I'm a preacher's kid, so I didn't come out until I was probably 22. Talbot Street was the first place that I ever was around other gay people. So it was just a really nice opportunity to bring people that I grew up loving and seeing. The people that let me know that it was okay to be yourself. So Ruth brought them all together for a family-friendly brunch. More people are realizing this is not a taboo thing. This is not something that happens behind closed doors. Like, this is an art form that should be celebrated. Because when I first came out, all of the gay bars, the windows were closed in. Like, downtown Ollie's, I remember when they opened those front windows because it had all been boarded up. But now... Everyone and anyone can dance in the sunshine. Gen Z and the millennial generation, they're very equality motivated. It's okay, you're already in my deal. And so you're seeing a rash of bills like that are prohibiting the rights of transgender people, um, you know, uh, prohibiting the voting rights of black and communities of color. And um, all of those bills that are being introduced are a direct response. We are very far from acceptance, but we are doing much better at toler tolerating. Pride, to me, is the opposite of shame. Being a trans woman of color who is also an entertainer, uh, pride for me means being able to walk in the daylight, proud as I can be, as who I am, without shame or having to hide or even being fearful. But it's not that hard to respect every human for being a soul. Show respect, mind your business, and do you do you and I do me, I'll be good. And some advice from a queen on how to find the courage to be yourself. You have a limited number of days here on this earth. None of us knows the day or the hour in which we will be called home. Make every day count. And don't waste a single day being somebody else. Be yourself. Because everyone else is taken. Yeah. Great advice there.